On a regular workday in 2022, when Li Feng was driving home during rush hour, a delivery man riding a scooter crashed into Li's car at a busy intersection in Shanghai. The accident damage was supposed to be covered by insurance that the delivery man's company acquired for its employees. However, Liu, the delivery man, explained to Li that he was a temporary worker with no such insurance and had to bear the cost on his own. To the surprise of Liu, Li didn't ask for any compensation. Instead, he chatted with Liu and learned about social security issues for flexible workers. Liu never knew that Li was a deputy to the National People's Congress, nor did he know that because of this accident, an issue involving his group of people was brought to Beijing to China's top legislature. This is where Li Feng, an NPC deputy, works. Shanghai Panda Machinery. He used to be a truck driver and now works as the manager of the purchasing department of the factory. Well, I'm very interested to meet him. Let's go. Okay. This year marks the seventh year of Li Feng serving as a national lawmaker. Whatever happened in his work life could become the inspiration for him to discover problems and help solve them. Over the past six years, Li has put forward more than a dozen suggestions, most of which are closely related to the benefits of migrant workers. From his own environment, to start, from his own group, to start, to give ideas, 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 to give Li did a series of investigations after his encounter with the delivery man. Li and other NPC deputies proposed further regulating outsourced flexible work arrangements to improve employment quality. Their suggestion received positive feedback. By January 2024, social security policy shifts that benefit flexible workers had been rolled out in various parts of China. 灵活用工人员的各种政策出台，对我国有两亿多灵活就业从业者很有帮助，很有推进作用。他们的交纳社保对他们自身，呃，对整个社会都有很重要的意义。我提的建议的主题，一般都是来自于日常生活的观察，这是我们做代表的很重要的一个履职内容，就是把时时刻刻帮助人民解决生活的难题挂在心上。Those NPC deputies are really busy. Yes, exactly. Actually, NPC deputies perform their duties throughout the year to make worthwhile proposals and give good suggestions. The process of them performing their duties offers a window to China's whole process, people's democracy. How many suggestions can one deputy put forward every year? Can be multiple. There's no specific limit on the number of suggestions.、Ah. For example, Li Feng,、mm -hmm. he made five suggestions last year,、mm -hmm. and most of them are related to his identity、uh, as a grassroots worker and the group of people he represents.、Mm -hmm. I can understand why his proposals match certain people's needs because he feels what they feel and he understands about their lives. Exactly. I'm wondering if there are some NPC deputies who make suggestions based on their professional expertise. Of course, let's meet a deputy from Chinese Academy of Sciences, and he's China's top expert on air pollution control. Wow! On this day, Professor He Hong visited Beijing University of Chemical Technology to check and give guidance on innovative experiments in pollution control. He has made great use of his professional expertise in the six years he has served as an NPC deputy. He has made multiple suggestions on ecological and environmental protection during sessions of the top legislature. Professor He is also a member of the NPC Environment Protection and Resource Conservation Committee. Wow! You know, I'd really like to meet him. 
Okay, let's go. Thank you. 你好，何教授，你好，你好，你好，很高兴认识您。哎哎，那是您。我在十三届人大的时候，我就提出了一个清洁柴油机啊计划，得到了很好的成长。你像它有力的推动了二零二一年柴油车的排放控制标准升级到国六，就是现在正在实行的国六。那您今年想提出哪些建议呢？今年呢，我想提一提我们国家大气臭氧污染控制的事。灰霾污染的控制已经取得了非常大的成效，但是臭氧污染控制还任重道远。那它的控制现在还是一个世界性的难题。我们在长期研究中提出了一些解决的方案，我准备在这次大会上来提出。Surface ozone pollution mainly occurs during the summer when the temperature is high and the sunlight is strong. This is the solution that Professor He plans to propose for nationwide use during this year's two sessions. A coating that can decompose the polluting ozone. Beijing Guangzhou Ecological Park is the first experimental site to use this coating. Over 5,000 square meters of wall surfaces in this park are applied with this environmentally friendly coating. Ah, Hmm, this looks no different from regular wall paint. Hmm, you know, I can't tell any difference either, but I can feel that the air quality is really good here. Hmm, yes. 看是看不出来什么的，然后我带你们去看看观测的设备。教授，这个数字代表什么呀？嗯，呃，大概呢，现在就是七十微克每立方米。嗯，这个浓度是低于我们一百微克，呃，每立方米这样的一个国家一级标准。从有关部委对我改善大气环境、保护人体健康的提案的回复的意见来看，我可以深深的感到，我们现在政府对这个改善民生。改善我们环境的意识是很强的，动力是很足的。在我当选环资委委员之后啊，啊，我更深的认识到啊，我们全过程民主啊，实际上就是发生在这个我们在起草这些法律，啊，通过这些法律、执行这些法律的这全部的过程中啊，我们要首先经过充分的调研、专业的研究，在调研研究的基础上，要跟政府部门相关的，我们有很多的磋商。这个磋商的过程中，可能就是政府的部长就要来我们委员会上，要听取意见。经过这样的磋商呢，再提出这个法律案，在环资委通过之后，还要再上到人大常委会，一般要两到三次审议后，交付表决才能通过。这个过程中，充分体现了民主的过程，因为这个时候还有很多机会要听取人大代表的意见，甚至向全社会征求意见。你们可能都不知道，这个公园还涂了一些环保的涂料，可以分解臭氧。你们并没有察觉，但是它在保护你。夏令来这儿，这个公园就比别的地方要凉快，感觉空气是吧？<笑>美丽的蓝天，良好的环境啊，这是我们最普惠的民生福祉，广大人民群众的共同的愿望。作为全国人大代表，更有义务、更有责任，让我们的科研成果在大气污染治理中。得到更好运用和啊实践。Now I can see how an NPC deputy's personal experiences in a specific field have inspired him to make worthwhile proposals at the two sessions. Yes, they not only need to review the problem, but also to investigate and provide solutions. I want to see how the proposals are successfully promoted into Chinese people's lives. Let's go and take a look. Break. You know, this road was constructed after the project was proposed in the two sessions by an MPC deputy from Gansu Province. Really? Yeah. People say that a good road leads to prosperity, and this is a really beneficial project. Mm. So I can't wait to meet this deputy. You can talk about it. Do you think that this school still needs to improve in which areas? Do you have any ideas in this area? Do you have any ideas in this area? During her investigation tour, Dong Caiyun, an MPC deputy, built a close relationship with teachers and students here, and had candid and open conversations with them. Ningxia Hui Autonomous Prefecture in northwest China's Gansu Province used to be one of the deeply impoverished areas, with two-thirds of the schools located in mountainous areas. 
the weak infrastructure and low quality education had long hindered local economic and social development. Joan has been teaching for over 30 years and has taught tens of thousands of students. She has been elected an NPC deputy for two consecutive terms. Since 2018, she has been conducting investigation on education development and rural revitalization in ethnic minority areas and seeking solutions for existing problems and challenges. Multiple suggestions made by her have been adopted. Nemanimchi this is the 52.5 km long Linxia Da He Jia Expressway. It is a key part of the regional transportation network and holds great significance for the economy and people's livelihoods in Linxia and surrounding areas. The construction of this highway started in 2019, just months after Dou made a suggestion during the two sessions that year. My 金石山下和青海省就隔着一条黄河那么黄河对面住的是藏族、土族、汉族当时我们都想着各民族之间相互的交往相互的交流提供便利的那么当时我们正好缺这么一条高速公路这是我们多民族共同的愿望 我的家乡, On December 18th, 2023 Jishishan County was jolted by a powerful 6.2 magnitude earthquake, causing death, injuries, and destruction to houses and infrastructure. The Linxia Da He Jia Expressway, which had been operational for only a month then, became a lifeline for rescue vehicles, winning precious time for earthquake relief. <laughs> In February 2024, a month before the opening of the annual two sessions, Dong paid another visit to the quick affected area. Shishi Zai 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 Zai